GMOs, not just because of the GMO, like the actual fruit that is GMO, right. genetically modified, right. but because of the destruction of the microbiome. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The destruction of the microbiome, though. In other words, when you start to destroy the soil and you start to do, destroy the nutrients, there's actually less enzymes, there's la actually less actual uh, uh, the, uh, the microbiome, all of the, the stuff that everybody's trying to get probiotics from. Right. And there's less of that in people's bodies now today, and so there's less to deal with it. So now when the body gets stuff into its body, it has less help, it, has, it accepts everything more as far and aged, mm -hmm. and now that the diets are more and more processed, right. there are more pro uh, um, foreign agents. You know, and you have certain rules like the FDA. Now you can make nat you can take two natural ingredients in nature, and, and blend them synthetically and make a complete mutant out of that, mm -hmm. and that will be seen as a natural ingredient. Mm -hmm. You know, so these are problems. These are problems. Places like Okinawa, even if it's not vegan, uh, places like Italy, not every place in Italy, but places like Italy where they're making their own olive oils. You know what I mean? They're pressing mm -hmm. them, cold pressing them. Right? And a lot of people don't know what cold press is. Cold press means that you know, you're squeezing those olives or whatever it is that you're squeezing. But once that machine reaches a certain temperature, they have to stop. Right. And they have to get it back to that temperature. It has to be below, at or below a certain temperature. And so none of the enzymes, none of the nutrients in there are destroyed. Right. You know, so now they've, it's been a thing. You see, they sell a lot of shit like you know, at other places that are bullshit. But if you go to Starbucks and stuff like that, they'll, you'll see cold pressed juices in there. That's the jewel that's in the Starbucks. And I don't see anything else worth drinking in there. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Um, you know, you just see, you know, so much caffeine in these coffees and espressos, though, you might have just do a line and just leave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> just, just do a line of Coke and just, just go. Just right. be on your way. You know what I mean? But, um,. Think. So that all encompasses like the Mediterranean diets, where there's like a lot of natural food, natural making of food and stuff right. like that. And in this processed world, that we look at those, 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 um, those foods, they may not be as good for us. But out there, where they make it fresh, though, it's different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's different, you know. But um, as far as the world's different foods, though, I'm not. I can't say I'm an expert like that. You know what I'm saying? I think that most of the foods I've eaten, I've, t I've stayed to the a lot of the Asian staples okay. that have been good for me. Like, as far as drinking food, tempeh, um, I'm saying, for the protein, tempeh, and then my drink, kombucha, you know, which is a fermented tea yes. that's mixed with juice, and, uh, you know, and I'm going to say this, it's not a kombucha, though, they put sugar in it, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I learned te about tempeh from? Um, Gary No, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah his show is still on though, so a lot of good information. Yeah, yeah. yeah. still, still. Yeah. yeah. I saw about a store too in that thing now then on uh on Broadway. Yeah, right. It used to be on eighty what was it on? Eighty six or eighty six. Because you know, they had the eighty fourth and Broadway was the was the, uh, the really theater. Yeah. And then yeah. Because he used to his office used to be on eighty fourth, but the, right. the health store was more down. Right, right. Yeah. But you moved the store up. I've been this store in my The major store I go to if I'm in Manhattan and stuff like that, besides Trader Joe's, because you need Trader Joe's. Right, right. Um, it's probably, it's Westerly on Columbus Circle. Okay, okay. And that's, that's the Westerly market. Uh, if Mega did this. Did this.